Once you collect your soil and send it off for testing, what goes on behind the scenes? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what we're doing. We're taking you behind the scenes to show you that process in the lab from start to finish. We're here at the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, and this is the place where all the soil samples come from all over the state, and it can get pretty crazy around here during peak times because they can get thousands of samples a day, which is a testament to the importance of having healthy soil, not only for those that depend on it for their livelihood, but for home gardeners and weekend warriors alike. Now today, Dr. David Hardy is Chief of Soil Testing. He's gonna give us a tour of this place from the time that the soil sample hits the dock all the way through to the finished report. Well, Joe, this is where it all begins. This is our soil receiving room, and during the nine busy time of the year, samples will be pulled directly into this room the same day they're received. But during our busy time of the year, which usually begins in September, uh, we start storing samples because we receive so many on a given day, up to over 10,000 a day. Once we have the samples trayed up and in carts, we roll them into the dryer for drying overnight. Um, the temperature is around 130 Fahrenheit with a lot of airflow. We just need to get the samples dry, air dry, so we can grind them the next day and process them. After the samples dry, we then grind it, which prepares the sample for the analysis. This separates out the fractions that's not soil and then really mixes the soil particles well for the scooping process that occurs in the lab. And Joe, this is the soil take-up room, so we have the sample that's been ground and they're scooping the soil three different times for the laboratory analysis. And that's just like a thimble full and all you need is three of those for everything that you test? That's right. We asked for the box to come in full, but the grinding process takes away quite a bit of soil, but we only need three small amounts of soil for the lab test. Well Joe, there's three tests we run in the lab, first being organic matter which is very important to people to see what the organic matter content is in their soil. Typically it runs anywhere from being non-existent to maybe around two to three percent. We look at organic matter just like soil has color, it gives the soil the dark color and we have a test that actually looks at the color of a solution to kind of give a measurement for organic matter. Uh, we also test the soil for phosphorus, potassium, calcium, the essential nutrients that plants need, that comes off an ICP, which is really a light determination kind of test. Um, we give recommendations based upon what the nutrient levels are in the soil for the plants to grow. The last test we do was soil pH. Soil acidity is critical for plants to grow, and that's how we get our lime recommendations that actually will raise the pH, because pH, you know, regulates really the availability of nutrients in the soil. So that is utmost important to the grower. One of the best parts about this report, it tells you the nutrients you need to add to bring your soil into peak conditions for those plants or crops you're trying to grow. But I use it for the opposite, what not to add, because there are a lot of nutrients that don't automatically leach through the soil, so you just don't need to reach for those fertilizers when they're not necessary. And I think that's a pretty good tip in my green gardening book. <laughs> 